I wasn't expecting anything like honestly I got money free money Hey beautiful people, good morning. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. If this is your first time of stopping by on my channel, please do not make it your last. My name is Agozie and I'm a YouTuber based in Canada. I'm an international student. I'm from Nigeria and I create content about moving to Canada, life as an international student, living in Canada, lifestyle. Anything that comes to mind, I feel like you guys may love, that may interest you people, I share them on my channel. So please sit down on this channel. Please do not forget to subscribe because this channel we have fun and we share things in detail, okay? So guys, this morning I'm getting ready. I told you guys in my last video that um, I'll be starting my clinicals, my first clinicals. I'm ready two weeks into the clinicals and I'll be finishing very soon. So I've not been able to vlog. So today I said, let me vlog. Let me show you guys. Let me just give you guys like this here and there. And this is my scrub. So my school made sure we bought scrubs from school. Do you understand? This is not quite scrubs. This is not quite scrubs. I'm wearing like the regular. It's not the joggers type because the joggers type did not fit. So I had to get these traditional pants. So um, I'm working in a long-term care. Long-term care is like where like um, older old people stay. This is where they stay. This is where like they get care. It's like a continuing care when they can no longer like live independently in their home. So they come to this continuing care to get care from healthcare professionals practical nurses registered nurses healthcare aid so that is where i'm doing my clinicals that is where our first clinical posting is then the next one i'll be like in acute care hospital med surge unit and all of that so this is for now this is where i'm doing my clinicals this is my first clinicals in this program it's been going well it's been fun honestly it's been fun but like they're like breakdown moments like yesterday <laughs> guys yesterday this that during their prayers because they have a chapel there during their prayers so this lady now started crying I, I was doing my research and i went to her i held her hand they were crying when i looked at her she looked just like my grandma my grandma died in 2019 when i saw her she was crying and crying I broke down and started crying like i had to leave her hand and i went downstairs to the bathroom and i bawled my eyes out i cried and cried and cried and cried it was like a very emotional experience for me and i hope it never happens this is the part of healthcare i don't really like anything that will just make me emotional maybe losing a patient or you know breaking down like crying with a patient that is the part in healthcare i'm not really prepared for but every other part i think i'm getting i'm getting prepared for it in jesus name so my car will soon be here and i usually ride with my friend jody so she works and um, she's doing her own continuing care practicum in a hospital and me i'm doing my own in a long-term care in another facility but it's like not so far from each other so we use the same cab to go to work so right now i'll be heading out so i'm going to see you guys when i get back from work okay and by the way i made this hair by myself i forgot to film a video i don't know if you guys like my hair videos but i made this myself this is spring twist i bought this from nigeria before i moved and i really love it so i'll be heading down now the car usually come at six and this is five minutes to six sorry i'm doing my intro in the bathroom but let me switch to my front camera so you guys can see me very well so this is my front camera i'm just going to grab my glasses and start heading downstairs So, heading out. Oh, okay. My cab is here. <gasps> Hi. Morning. Morning. Hey guys, so I'm at work right now and I'm always the first person to get to work 
this is like um our briefing starts at 6 30 but i always get here like five minutes past six and my instructor has commented me a bunch of times you're always the first person to get here and that is very very commendable that is fantastic if you know me very well i i used to be a little common but since i moved to this canada and i realized that punctuality is one of their thing like if you are not a punctual person you they'll flag you red flag if you have an appointment if you don't go early problem they will not attend to you so i've actually started disciplining myself to always be early so guys i'm not going to be vlogging during my shifts because privacy you don't vlog you don't use your phone you don't record residents you don't record patients you don't do that so i'm not going to be vlogging but from time to time i'm just going to come chipping 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 something and that will be it and to like get home i'll give you guys like a full gist of how today went down but that's by the way hey guys i am done like i'm done with my shift for today so i'm heading to where my friend is doing her own clinical placement so i'm going to the hospital is just over there just like a five minute walk normally i stay here and they come pick me but i finished before time so i'm just going to go there like let me just walk a little because most of the time i'm I'm inside the car. Hey guys. Hi. Hey guys, so I'm back home. So when I got home, let me remove my glasses so you can see my face very well. So when I got home, I checked my mailbox and I saw that I have something here. So I'm just going to set my camera somewhere, my phone camera somewhere, so that I'll sit down and tell you guys what is inside this envelope. Sorry, my room is scattered. <laughs> my bed is scattered. Everything is scattered. But I've not been having time for myself. But let's concentrate on this envelope, shall we? I'm going to give you guys a background. I've already opened it immediately when I saw what was inside, when I noticed what was inside. So let me just give you guys the background of this story. So you guys know that international students have an opportunity to um, file for tax, tuition tax. Now this is for you, you, I'm talking to you, that will be coming here very soon for school. So if you're coming to Canada come September 2023 and you pay your tuition for the fall term, when they start um, filing tax next year, which is usually like March, April of the following year, make sure you take a form you tell your school to give you a form the form is called t22 form they will give you that form then when they give you that form so like me they didn't have to give me the form my the form was already on my school profile so it was just for me to print it out then go and file for tax go and file for my tuition tax so that was what i did i went on my profile printed up the t22 form i went to this um i didn't go to a tax clinic that collects money. I went to like all these um, volunteer tax clinic, the free tax clinics, and my friend and I, and they did our taxing for us. And after some time, me, I was already planning what I'm going to use my own money to buy. I was already saying, oh, maybe when the money comes, and maybe I was even thinking that the money may be up to like one thousand dollars because my tuition is a lot. So I was thinking that at the end of the day my tax was going to be like a thousand or something so i was going to use part of it and pay my rent for may i'll be june i can't remember i had plans for that money i got an email that they filed our taxes they even called me on the phone i should come back to the clinic and take my tax documents and all that i was so happy i was like hey so when this money comes i will shop i'll buy clothes because all my clothes are warm clothing i don't really have anything for summer and spring i said oh i, I had already finished adding things in my cart on sheen i said i was going to go to forever 21 and shop for myself long story short 
We went to the tax clinic to collect our bundle of money. For us to get there, they gave me the tax documents. I found out that I owe nothing, I get nothing. Jesus Christ. Like, I wasn't going to get any money from the tax. Me, the only thing said, oh, maybe I may get up to $1,000. Nothing came back. My friend's own tax, her own tax filing, the clinic told her that they had like a problem with her own something, something, something that they were going to get back to her later. She said, okay, let her go to another tax clinic. I can't remember the tax clinic she went. It's very popular. If I remember it, I'm just going to put it on the screen. In case you're trying to, in case you try filing for your tax when you come here and you have some money to give a tax clinic that collects money. I'm just going to put the name of this tax clinic on the screen. So my friend went to this other tax clinic and did her tax, filed for her, filed her tuition tax. And they told her that she's going to get nothing and she's owing the government nothing. But that every month, I think for four months, she's going to get $200 for, it's called, um, it's called climate incentive for living in Wetaski. Climate incentive for living in water skin. So for, she's going to get eight hundred dollars, but it's not going to come all at once. It's going to come to two hundred dollars every month. My friend came back and told me about this um, climate incentive clinical clinical. Now when she went to the other tax clinic, they told her that she's not going to be getting anything. Like I was told to, she's not owing the government anything because when you file your tax, that is when they know. They find out. That's when you find out. Whether you are owing the government or the government is owing you. There are people that are owing the government, but that is by the way. So my friend told me that she's not going to be getting any money from the tax, from the tuition tax, but she's going to be getting a climate incentive for living in wet task. I mean, that is $200 every month for four months. That's 800 bucks. I said, wait, though. Why is it that the other tax clinic did not tell me that I'm going to be getting money at the end of the day? I went back to my apartment, opened the envelope they gave me in that other tax clinic. I, I scrutinized, used my glasses, looked for the place where they said I'll be getting so, so, so money every month. Nothing about climate incentive on my own documents. I said, Jesus, take the wheel. Guys, one day like that, I got an email. It was from government of Canada, CRA. CRA is like a government agency that you know is they are in charge of anything about tax and all of that so i got an email from them saying that i should go to my um my cra account i have a message on there and if i don't have a cra account i should open a cra account i was like but why am i opening a cra account since i don't have they already told me they were giving me that heartbreak that i'm not getting anything at the end of the day for my tuition tax what's the point I kept on saying, oh, maybe later, 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 I'm going to check my email. I'm going to open a CRA account to see what they have for me on there. My dears, dears, my dears, I did not open the CRA account. Procrastination just did me like this. I did not open the CRA account. I said, well, if they want to give me something, they should send it to my mailbox, please. They have my contact address everything everything they should send the thing to my email to my mailbox downstairs i'll pick it up okay because my friend from jamaica told me that when her mom first moved there she did her first um tax they sent it to her mom's mailbox i was like god if they have something for me make them send it to my mailbox all right so today normally like when we finish from work because i usually come back with my friend another of our classmates drops us off after our classmate dropped us off we went to first of all whenever we come back we go straight to our mailbox to see if we have any letters or anything you know anything as such so today we went to the mailbox i was like well i'm not going to open my mailbox because i opened my mailbox two days ago i'm like i'm not expecting anything so she opened her own mailbox and she saw an envelope the envelope inside the envelope the, it was addressed to me as the chair goes in julian she was like, Julian, what's your stuff doing in my mailbox? Me self, I was shocked. She op I was like, let me see. She gave it to me. And the thing said, Government of Canada. She started smiling. She was like, I think you have money in there. 
<laughs> I saved money for what? She was like, maybe the climate incentive. I, can't, I collected the envelope from her. Shop! I opened it. I was vlogging on my way back, but when that thing started happening, I might not even remember to bring out my food to, to record them. But I said I was going to sit down and give you guys the food. I opened the envelope. Next thing I saw, my name. Let me show you the envelope. First of all, look at the envelope here. Yeah. So I saw my name. Uh -uh. I was like, hmm. Okay. And I'll turn the back like this. And I saw the check addressed to me. I'm like, first of all, why is my check instead of my friend's mailbox? I was so happy that I was like, I wasn't I wasn't expecting anything. Like honestly, I got money. Free money. Free money. Like, free check like this. Hmm. I'm so happy that I was not expecting this money to come because they told me that I'm not getting anything back. Nothing, nothing. So I just zeroed my mind. So what I'm going to do is that whenever I have time, I don't have clinicals on Monday. Like Monday, I'm going to cash this check and cash it and keep it and keep the money and do whatever I want to do with it. But I'm so, so happy. So I'm just going to advise you guys for you guys coming here in September make sure that the next year I'll be the upper year which is 2024 during um, when they start filing tax which is around May sorry um, which is around March April don't get me wrong March April make sure you file for your tuition tax tell your school to give you T22 form you're going to use that T22 form to file for your tax even if you're not getting nothing the province you're going to may decide to give you five hundred dollars as climate incentive Actually, you guys later see i'm going to just remove my scrubs look for what to eat and eat something i don't even know what to eat but i have a bunch of assignments i'm going to start some of them today and we'll go from there all right hey guys i took my bath and right now i'm thinking of eating it's already 6 p.m. I've been lazy about doing nothing. <laughs> God help me with this laziness. So I'm going to go ahead and fix what to eat. It's going to be my dinner. I'm thinking of frying akara. I'm craving akara and custard. But my issue with custard is that my custard does not ever make sense. Like whenever I do custard, it always ends up having seed like on a bamboo. I don't know how to say it. Like it ends up being boorish. I don't know how to say it, but you guys understand. Like it ends up being not so cooked, and also it just have like seed inside it. I've complained about this so much, and I don't know. But I just pray that the one I'm going to do today will not have boorum. In Jesus' name. So I'm just going to go ahead and fry my akara and make my custard, eat something and go and start my schoolwork. I've taken so much break. Then tomorrow I have like a couple of YouTube videos to film. So I just want to get some things done today before tomorrow. All right. Hmm. Let me show you guys outside. This what was the time? This is 10 minutes past six and it's super, super, super bright outside. Let me show you guys outside. Can you people see outside how bright it is? It's super bright. Like if I remember, I'm going to show you guys how nine o'clock is. It's still bright, but not as bright as it. But it's still bright. You can actually like go outside and it will still be very, very. You can, you can even take a picture, and someone would think you took the picture like 4 p.m. or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat something and and be serious with my life. All right, let's head to the kitchen. I may not be able to vlog like me frying a car and all that because it's going to make this vlog too long. But I'll show you guys the final process when I'm done. This custard, this custard that I have now, this is the one I have. I'm using now. I'm using this one. It's called birds. It's called birds. Once I finish using this custard, I don't know if it's from the product, but once I'm done using this one. I don't think I'll buy custard again. It's not by force. I've come 
I've resolved it in my heart. Abi, I have English is hard, but I have decided that I will not buy um, custard again. Once this one finishes, just they go to just look at food. Look at food. Look at my akara. See how the akara is akara. -y. Then look at the custard. I don't know, it's no words for this Costa, but the Akara, oh my god, it's so crunchy and it tastes so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat. I'm so hungry, I'm famished. Hey guys, good morning. I'm just waking up from sleep. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Jeez. All through yesterday, I did not pick up my phone to vlog anything because yesterday I was on hot seats. So in school, they give us this. Okay, for my, I told you guys I already started my clinicals. So my clinical instructor assigned us two patients, two residents to take care of next week. So anytime you're assigned the residents you take care of, you have to research on the meds you'll be administering to them. You have to know everything about the meds. You have to link their medication to their diagnosis. So I was assigned to patients and my own med, um, med pass, like administering meds to my residents is on Tuesday. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow we are not going for our clinicals because she let us do our, like, to make, she let us do our research on Friday so we don't have to come to school on Monday. So we have to, we don't have to come to our clinical placement on Monday. So we'll just work from home. I was sitting down on my chair, my reading chair, doing this medication research. Hi, Jesus Christ. I am tired. There are two medications that are giving me problem. If you're a pharmacist and you're watching this video, I respect you. I respect everything about you. Hello, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> so, I just finished taking a shower. I've been so busy since morning. I have been really, really busy. I finished my medication research for my... Met pass next week, like I told you guys I, that I would earlier when I woke up. So I've already finished my my research. Now I'm doing another assignment. But I said, please, let me go and eat. I've not eaten since morning. I remember I said I was going to have a cup of tea when I wake up. I ended up not having that cup of tea. Immediately I woke up, my church, the church I usually join online, um, CCI, Celebration Church International. So I usually join the the branching internal whenever they go live on Sundays. So immediately I woke up, I got a notification that they were live. So I just had to suspend my tea and listen to the word of God. <laughs> so from there, I said I had to finish my med research. From doing that, I started doing another assignment. So it's been back to back. So now I boiled rice. I boiled rice. I also made um I also made what's it called? I also made um um what am I thinking about? Pound dough, yam. Yeah. I also made pound dough for my friend and for me. So I told you guys I made a ferro yesterday. I'm going to show you guys what my ferro looks like. I use a different recipe and it looks good. Trust me. I can cook. Not I can I can cook, not just I, I'm a good cook. If you've tested my food, just say hi in the comment section. So this is the rice I bought. Then this is oh, this is my pound dough. So I'm going to bring out the F4. So guys, here is my F4. This is my friend's own. I dished it out separately. Let me show you guys. This is what it is. I'm just going to put it in the microwave and microwave it again. This is my own. This is my own F4. Can you see? This F4 is a foin. So I used um Titus fish and chicken to make it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the microwave and and I will tell her that I'm bringing her lunch because I told her yesterday that she should not bother buying lunch because I'm bringing her lunch. So I'm just going to put them in the microwave and. And I dig in. <laughs> so I finished plating my food. Here is my 
powder and here's my f4 so i'm just going to go ahead and dig in hey guys let me move this thing so people can see my real face so i came to the hospital i don't feel so well so i came to see the doctor so they ordered some tests some blood work i've already dropped my blood sample now i'm waiting for my taxi to come take me to the bank i told you guys that they sent me a 200 dollar check so i want to go to the bank and cash that check before they change their mind and be like it's like it's like this girl is not serious to cash her money so i want to go and cash the check then from there i want to go to walmart i want to buy tomatoes and a couple of other you know just like a small grocery shopping then from there i'll go home i want to make stew so let me just just see there's one of the things i like about canada is that is the whole free health care now i came to the hospital to do my blood work i saw the doctor i didn't pay a dime i did my blood work i didn't pay a dime this is something i really have been enjoying <laughs> not like i always go to the hospital but this is something i really really like because some of the tests that was ordered i know if it was in nigeria and i'm doing this blood work it's going to be like really expensive and all that but i'm really happy about this honestly so if you're a student and you come here once you come here maybe whichever province you're going to make sure you get like the health card of that particular province like if you're coming to alberta there's alberta health card make sure you apply for it it's it will um, allow you to go to work into any hospital, emergency, anywhere at all to receive care without pay, having to pay a dime. As a student, you don't have money, money unless you have plenty of money, but you don't have to like pay a dime. So ensure you get your health card once you get here. Just ask around, ask your school where you can get a health card. I'm sure they'll refer you to where you can get your health card. I hope that makes sense. So I'll catch you guys when I get to the bank or when I get to Walmart. Either of them, sure. Yeah. Bye. So, guys, I finished from the bank. This is the bank over there behind me. So, I've been able to cash the check. So, this is like the receipts of it. Then, this is like the blank thing showing that the check has been cashed, I guess. So, right now, I'm just going to head over to Walmart. It's just like a three minute walk from here. And from there, when I'm done at Walmart, I will order a taxi to come and pick me and take me home. I'm so happy that you see, free money is sweet. See how happy I am. See how I'm smiling. My cheeks are already reaching my ears. Woohoo, I'm done. So let's head over to Walmart right now, shall we? Guys, I'm already at Walmart. See, this is what I hate. Coming to the store and seeing something you did not plan to buy. I'm seeing corn. guys i'm finally back home yes this is one of the corn i bought from walmart i was craving roasted corn so i roasted it i just roasted one <laughs> so i've come to the end of this vlog if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up okay i'll catch you guys later bye